Hello again. Hey, we're going to today walk through um, subscription management, setting up prices uh, and how to set up prices, you know, different pricing on, on your subscription items. Um, this is also covered in a couple of the main training sessions that I have, but I thought I'd break it out into a shorter video. So we're starting here with a super user. We're going to start um, by going into setup and maintenance. And the first thing we're going to do is set up price charge types. So we'll go to the task search and um, navigate to manage pricing lookups. And within here, we're going to set up um, three different ones. But first, let's search on them. So to find the charge types in pricing, it's it's this ORA underscore two underscore charge underscore types. So I'll go ahead and search on that. And you can see down here some of the ones that have been set up. First thing I'd like to point out is how these are how these are done. Uh, first off, you'll notice that everything is in all caps. So it's got to be in all caps or it won't be found by the system. You'll notice some of them start with, um, let's see. Aura, some start with usage, and some starts with OKC. So Aura are owned by Oracle Development. So if they add new ones in the in the environment, that's what they'll be. Usage are usage or metrics-based billing. So in subscription management, remember we can do monthly recurring billing, or we can do it based on some metric like gigabytes or minutes or quantity or whatever you want it to be. OKC means um, those are usually defined. You can define what you want. You'll also notice here that we have um, the display sequence. Again, this is how they appear in the list of values in the pricing administration. So we'll go ahead and um, create a couple here. So the first thing I'm going to create is the usage underscore gigabytes. Um, we'll just uh, let's see what's my bottom one here. We'll just put this in number eight. I'm here, usage gigabyte. We're going to make it number eight. Again, you can put um, a start date on these, end date. Again, uh, it's up to you, just like you see in pricing. Gigabytes. Um, and I usually put my meaning and my description pretty much the same. We're going to go ahead and create another one. This one is going to be a one-time setup. I'm calling it ironically one time, right? Um, set up charge. And I'm just going to note this is one time. And we'll create another one for my monthly. And we'll do this, actually, we're going to do this as number eight, or you can be the same, and it'll just sort them alphabetically on uh, display sequence. And this is a monthly, I can't type today, a monthly charge. So this is my recurring charge that's going to happen every month. So I have my three items set up here. Uh, in pricing lookups. And so I'm going to go ahead and save and close this. And we'll go to the next step. The next step here in setup and maintenance is we have to go set up our pricing. Um, I'm just going to, it's called pricing charge definitions. Um, right here, pricing charge definitions. Again, um, here, I'm just going to do an open search so we can see what's out there. You'll see codes, names, applies to charge type, periodicity, unit of measure class. Um, roll down here. You'll notice some of these say time. Uh, time is kind of important when you're dealing with recurring charges. Uh, so that's something we'll deal with. And also down here, we see these two check boxes there. Um, a lot of times we'll set up pricing and 
try to go into descriptions or pricing admin, we won't find it. It's because we forgot to activate it and enable it. We'll need to remember to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I set these up to be real similar to um, the first ones I did. So we're gonna do a usage to be, this is gigabyte usage. This is gonna be a price and this is recurring. That's one time actually, most of these are one time. That is recurring, okay. Recurring charge type, these are the ones I just set up. So there's my gigabytes and this is going to be price. And I'm gonna put time in here. I'm not gonna put time in there. So the next one I'm gonna set up is um, my one-time fee. Set up the one-time price, one-time is the See if we can find it. Set up charge one time. This is price. And as I mentioned in the beginning, we need to remember to click these buttons. So I'll go back and do those. And this is okay, see. monthly fee, just in case there's another one. Okay, see. Recurring. We charge. This is price. And then we're going to set these up and then we'll save them and close this out. Save and close. So those are the two things that need to be done in um, setup and maintenance. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into pricing administration. So we'll come over here and navigate over to order management. If I can find order management. You go into pricing admin. I've set up an item so that we can put these on an item. So we'll go to corporate price list and we're going to find my item which is SR551101. I set this up previously. That's the new item that we're going to do. And then we click create charge. So here we're going to set up a um, the monthly setup one time, it's a one-time fee, it's priced, this would be a hundred and, I don't know, whatever, $50 to do our setup. Again, I'm gonna put a start date sometime in the past. Gotta be a date and a time. And I'm gonna create an additional charge. And this one is gonna be my gigabytes usage. The price periodicity is going to be monthly. You can change price periodicities, but you have to um, ensure that your um, periods in subscription management and the periods everywhere are all going to match or it will kind of mess itself up. Um, and this is going to be um, $1.99 per gigabyte. And again, we're going to set up a date in the past with a time on it. 
So unlike order management, I can have uh, multiple prices on items for subscriptions. Order management would bark all over this. It wants to see one item and one price record. So we can also do um, the last one. We're gonna add another charge here. And you notice the screen changes. I put multiple charges here. And this is going to be my monthly um, charge. Again, this is monthly. And it's going to be $29.95 a month for this service. And again, put my date sometime in the past so that we can set this pricing up. So what we've done here is we've gone in and we've created user-based um, price charge definitions. We set up the price charge. Um, pricing lookups, we looked to set the list of values, we went in and created the charge definitions that'll show up here, and then we've come in and added price to those charges. And so now in subscription management, you can go in and use this item in a subscription, and it'll bring in the pricing that you've set up here. And we'll save and close that, and that'll be the end of this little short vignette on how to set up different price um, charges and price categories for your subscriptions.